días, mi gente, ¿cómo están? Ya, espero que todos se hayan despertado, ya casi son las diez y media de la mañana. Estamos en nuestro segmento Un Café Bien Conversado, en donde saben que traemos a miembros de la comunidad, líderes que están impactando a nuestra comunidad hispana, y pues hoy vamos a tener eh, Un Café Bien Conversado con David Gloria, y tiene eh, también uh, a una pequeña invitada, les tenemos una sorpresita. <risa> Hola David, ¿cómo estás? Good morning, buenos días a todos. And so, quick um, guest especial, um, Bella, your special message to everyone, please. Good morning, everyone. Um, you did a good day, and that you're all my family, and that you've been nice to me. Oh, Bella, so you're thanks so, so cute. much, Bella. Thank you for the special guest shout out. <laughs> Samantha, thank you so much for having me today. Oh, thank you, David. No, the pleasure is mine. Y bueno, uh, I'm going to let you guys know the show today is going to be in English. I'm trying something different here. Uh, but I'm really, really happy to have you, David. And let me se los presento. Let me introduce David to you guys. He is an ambitious bicultural young professional and first-generation DePaul University alumni. He personally knows what it takes to overcome multiple obstacles and transform a career. Inclusion advocate and entrepreneur, improving people and companies via talent, workplace, and performance optimization. He's passionate and focused on helping top diverse talent build professional networks, connect with like-minded peers, and job opportunities at top, top companies. He's currently working with companies that value and understand the value and power of having diverse next generation employees in their teams. Welcome, David. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Originario de Joliet, eh? Yes. Joliet. We are so happy to, to have you, David. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, excited to be here, Samantha, and thank you. It's uh, my first time as a guest here. So in English, es porque Samantha knows que mi español, pues mi mamá me regaña y todos Ay, me regañan David. porque no lo practico, pero como as a first generation Latino, Um, I think a lot of us are in maybe We similar understand. shoes. Yes. So, a ver si se me escapa el español también. So claro, we'll lo podemos hacer en español. Yes, if this is a topic like you said yesterday that is not really talked about among our community. So that's why it's really important to bring it up. Because exactly. you know, yeah. you know the impact that a great, you know, education and career can make in an individual, but Um, I know that you come from a family of leaders. You grew up um, with a lot of leaders in your family and servant leaders more, more than that. But tell me, what made you get interested in helping the Hispanic community? Uh, it really came down from, as you said, my, my mom and dad. So los dos nacido en México, um, and they have a traditional story. They came here for more opportunity. Of they, course. Um, the oldest of four. And so it was my mom at home and my dad uh, doing construction Um, working very hard all the time. Um, and he instilled with us ir a misa um, desde chiquitos and to do good in school. Um, so we had, as first generation, we had no idea what school was, what work was, um, what, as millennials and Gen Z say, adulting is and yes. how tough that is to pay your bills. And so we really just were taught to give back. Of course. Um, even if you don't have a lot, even if it's with your time. So like the census was here earlier, um, Veronisa, it's like, give back. Um, even if, instead of just like watching something on Netflix, give back. And I think exactly. if, if you're a parent, a young parent, it's something that can be life transformational to have your little ones know to be servant leaders. To inculcate that to exactly. their kids. Exactly. It pays dividends. Like it'll, claro. it'll, it'll pay off in the long run. So uh, mi mamá y mi papá, gracias por hacerme en la, el hombre que soy hoy. Um, and I can pass it down to the next of generation. Of course. Um, um, they said that helping others might be the secret of happiness. So I think, I think it has to be. So uh, one thing I talk about money and career is that there's a lot of research that says um, that if you make $75,000, if, if you make more than that, there's really no impact to direct well-being or happiness. Yeah. So if you think a lot of us are like we want money or money or have a good job, But a lot of the research, especially like that I'm diving into right now, it's more about being happy. Yes. It's being overall. present. And so hopefully if, any, uh, if anyone on live has like a question of moral being, even if I want to drop the idea, well-being is more important than anything else. And yes. this is someone from me that's now, you know, worked so many different jobs at six different companies. I think it's been like nine different jobs I've had. 
um, well-being, I'm learning, it's the most important thing. So Definitely. take care of yourself first. Yes, and we do have some questions from the audience ah, because I, I, yeah, I did ask them uh, on social media if okay. they can have any questions sure. about career or uh -huh. um, like, uh, you know, self-care. And a lot of people ask about self-care because we know it's something that we are like, putting aside we are putting uh, our job first or mm -hmm. other things um, you know first we forget about ourselves and that's when you start having all these existential crises and like what am I gonna do now mm -hmm. uh, but yeah I think it's super important that we are talking about this and I just want to ask you a question that maybe most of our audience already know but I wanna if there's anybody listening that might not know but what made you start uh, next gen Latinx well, uh, if you start a business, most entrepreneurs or most people start or make a product, una bolsa, lo que sea, it's because that person has a problem themselves. Yeah. So when I went to college, no one told me, David, this is what you have to do to get a good job. After four years at a private university, at DePaul University, and thousands and thousands in student debt, the one job I could find was back here in, in, in Joliet at, my, at our local Toys R Us, which that company yeah. is now bankrupt, but I was making $15 an hour. And even in today's, you just can't get ahead. So that inf uh, infected, uh, impacted me mentally and, and well-being and todo. And so I looked left and right trying to seek guidance, and it's very difficult. It is. Right? I can't go to mom and dad or mi papá y decir, ¿qué hago? ¿Cómo puedo ganar 40 mil, 50 mil, 80 mil dólares, 100 mil dólares? They don't know. Te van a decir trabajando seis trabajos, maybe, right? And, like, sí. Y, y, y verdad? Yeah. So I started NextGen um, really as a Facebook group mm -hmm. because I was attending a lot of networking events, eventos sociales that were you're supposed to go and, and connect and connect with business leaders or people the diferentes culturas, de posiciones altas, recruiters. But it's so 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 difficult to network. It, it's also draining sometimes. It can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Bastantísimo. Yeah. So there's a, a like tips again if you're introverted yes. or más callado. Um, you know, there, I would say LinkedIn, if you're yes. not familiar, it's a great website and app that you can get on your phone. It's all about how you can build your personal brand network, y todo eso. even find jobs like Indeed.com, um, LinkedIn, but in Pisa Next Gen, porque desde chiquito, it's like, how can I help others? So as being first generation, for me, I always tell people that I'm first gen, I'm still figuring things out. Y ahora ya tengo siete años que me gradué de la universidad, claro. and I'm still in the same sort of position of, Estoy aprendiendo. Learning. How do you survive corporate America? How do you get a higher position? How do you so all these hows? I still have to, I still have to figure out um, even to this day. So next gen, I, I create a Facebook group. You can find it at next gen yes. next. Um, right now we're we're 800 members, mm -hmm. and what I try to do is just share stories of I had this is you know if you have a tough boss. You know, um, this is, you know, transparency and career stories, because yes. even as I network with Latinos at the most highest uh, positions across the U.S., and there's so much, Samantha, y todos really? los que están escuchando, I use LinkedIn to connect with some of the top Latinos in the country, Univision, yes. you know, I would almost start mentioning them, Sal, there's a lot that are leading diversity and inclusion, sales, marketing, at the, in Google, there's uh, top Latinas there. So we don't even know they exist. Exactly. Groupon, McDonald's in Chicago all have Latinos. Facebook in Chicago, Salesforce in Chicago, Glassdoor in Chicago. Wow. There's so many Latinos. So if you're a young individual or if you're a parent, si eres una mamá o papá ahorita escuchando, hay muchos Latinos que sí existen y tienen... Um, Carreras, Carreras y, y exitosas, exitosas en, en todas las compañías. Y posiciones altas Mi en visión, corporaciones. por decir, hasta, eh, verdad, non-profits. Y entonces lo que yo miro es que nuestros jóvenes no sabemos que existen role models. Necesitan verlos. Necesitan este yes. saber de que, oye, esta persona, this person looks like me. I mm -hmm. can probably be there. Puedo estar ahí yo también. Yeah. Tenemos que, los mentores. A, a vision of me with NextGen is to interview these Latinos claro. across the U.S. and make it almost as, as short two-minute videos mm -hmm. because there's just so much. Um, and there's so much movement. There's even in, in L.A. with the mayor of L.A. Um, y muchas actrices y actores oh, Latinos, yes. they created L.A. Collab, oh, which yes. is to increase Latino representation, representation in, in Hollywood. In Hollywood. Yes, so understand. that's happening in New York. There's a lot of inclusion in hiring Latinos in technology companies. Ahorita los jóvenes, it's like if you can study one tech career or skill set or say, ah, you know, I don't know what I want to do as I get older. 
I'll drop the seed, study something with computers or technology. Wow. Porque si fundamental, it's the future of a lot of careers. So you might hear what's called automation, that robots, AI, technology is making certain jobs um, obsolete. So like accounting, yes, a lot of that computers can do it. Or some aspects of marketing, a, a computer program can write tweets. Exactly. So those jobs are going away. Um, administrative assistants, which are sometimes entry level in corporate, those are going away as Microsoft Outlook y otros programas pueden hacer el trabajo. Yeah, automáticamente. So, ahorita también como lo, los candidates están diciendo que that's creating fear. Mm -hmm. Que verdad, pues mis papás no más han trabajado esta carrera, este trabajo, y se puede eliminar en los próximos dos ¿Qué años. Vamos a hacer, ¿Qué vamos right? a hacer? No, we see also like in, in sales, a lot of stores are going online, and those are jobs that people like are losing. Macy's just is closing 125 yes. stores. Yes, yeah, I was just thinking about that. Um, and I think that that you said, um, like, the, what careers can we do? That's super important because mm -hmm. we are thinking that. We're like, wow, we need a plan B now that all these jobs are, are leaving the market. What are we going to do? But uh, now that we're talking kind of about adversities, um, you know, our future can be really overwhelming sometimes. Um, we sometimes don't have a plan. We feel lost. Um, and we tend to have, I say it again, the existential crisis thing. So do you think having a self-development plan can help someone to have a better vision for their future? Uh, first off, yes. And I think it's like they, what's popular, I would say, start with like a vision board. Yes. Right? So go to, even if it's a piece of paper, if you can get a cardboard, you know, poster board, something to do with, like, put your ideas out there. Mm -hmm. When you tell someone else an idea, there's a greater chance that you're going to act on it. La ley de atracción also. So my okay. sisters were annoyed because I would say, I want to start a group for young Latinos to talk about jobs. And I did this for about three years before I even started anything with NextGen. So for tres años, I was just talking about it, but no action. So, I, I mean, I started there. Pero, pero yo poco, creo que poco. you were preparing yourself. Mentally, you know? mentally, yeah, ¿verdad? Exactly. Porque I, es un no one taught me how to start a group or a business. Exactly. Um, so I would say, Think of coaching, um, and I, I, you know, I can't get into it too much, but coaching is That's different lovely. than mentoring. A mentor is someone that can say, Samantha, you know, David, this is what, I, you know, what my life story is. Aquí te puedo ayudar con esto, with some advice. Coaching is different. Um, for myself, I've been working with a, what's called an ambitious coach, believe it wow. or not. There's such a thing. So it's like a life coach, but we focus one-on-one -on, -one on phone calls, and once in a while we have a lunch, on my mindset. So wow. a lot of us as Latinos, we're beginning to talk about mental health. And self-awareness, more important. How yeah. exactly am I feeling okay today, right? But your mindset is part of, a, of an effect of your emotions. So, you know, is your mindset on progressive, like energy driven, I'm gonna be able to do anything, or is your mindset and your internal self more, you know, closed off, reserved, fearful? Um, and that could be for a lot of things, right? You don't, we don't have enough money to pay our bills, so I'm not going to do all this. Yeah, um, that's why I think we should start also learning about emotional intelligence because... EQ. See, si, yeah. see. Si. Um, for myself, you know, I've been learning from, from people very close to me that mental health does play a lot, huge role in our oh. how far we can get in life and even, you know, what we can do on the job. So for me, it's also as a Latino male, um, I'm happy to talk about and disclose whenever I'm on Facebook and it's appropriate of anxiety. So me personally, yes. I can own I have anxiety. And I'm like, I have anxiety. I'll look at the camera and, and microphone and say, yo soy Latino, hombre, and I have anxiety. Some days, puedo decir que no tengo nada de las, por decir, síntomas o sí. impactos, pero sometimes it's like very severe. Porque no, los estreses del trabajo, my job is so demanding as a consultant. Um, and trying, you know, there's so much pressure of, you know, David Gloria can do anything. Yes. I'm just a regular person. No, yeah, but you sometimes like put too much on your plate sometimes, mm -hmm. and then you're like, "Am I doing this right? What is happening?" Like you're like, See, <laughs> it, it's it's really anxiety is really overthinking, yes, overthinking at a large, large level. So I tell myself, "Am I doing enough on my job? Should I be making more money? Is my boss happy? You know, I should be doing more with next gen. My family, I should be making them more proud." Sometimes I I'm should like, spend more time with my family. I should, I'm I could, I would. Esto, exacto. It's horrible. So. And then you go to sleep, and then you're just thinking all these things, and, and it's horrible. What, what but that, it is normal to be. What that leads to, it's, you know, it's, it's mental health impacts one in five. Of course. And severe, it impacts one in tw 25 adults. What that's causing right now is a lot of lead research 
is que it's called what's called burnout. Mm -hmm. So en tu trabajo, if you feel uh, low energy, angry, you don't like your coworkers, you're frustrated, you're missing work, you're calling off, it's because of what's called burnout. Burn. So burnout is when you, it, it, it's never been really addressed in previous generations, so gracias por, porque <laughs> it's taboo. Yes. Pero ahorita burnout, it impacts 84% of millennials. So el 84% de todos de los jóvenes, pues de 30 sabe que a los como 25 tienen burnout. burnout. Que es que ya sí, simplemente necesitan que decir pause. El trabajo siempre va a existir. ¿Verdad? Los proyectos, hasta si los que, jóvenes que están en la universidad, es mucha presión en graduarse y conseguir un trabajo bueno. So a lot I see young individuals that reach out to me on Facebook Messenger. And I welcome it all the time. I love to do it. And this. I love that. It, they reach out, or even on LinkedIn, and they're like, David, you know, I, I just graduated, or I'm about to graduate, and I don't know what to do. So I think back, I got Toys R Us, $15 an hour, which was great, but they want more. And it's what people should, right? It's, it's uh, having yeah, a good yeah, shot at, at, at a job. So yeah. to, for there, it's don't put so much pressure on yourself when you're so young, when you're 20, 22 years old. Tengo 28 and I'm still figuring this out. So it's it's okay. It's okay wherever you're working now. Just keep investing in yourself and in, in, in applying to positions. Um, sometimes even one of the best tips is if you're on Indeed, on LinkedIn, on Monster.com, cualquier sitio de, de jobs, muchos no aplican porque dicen necesitas dos o tres, cinco, diez años para Experience aplicar. Experience also, right? Um, mm -hmm. The biggest thing is, as I say, it's like take your shot. Aplica. Um, and a lot of it for a resume tip that I, that I give is a young individuals and people struggle to write a resume. That's very yeah. good. And so the biggest thing is like a little mini hack. Look at the job description of like three jobs that you want to get. Do copy and paste of the job description's bullet points and almost just change it and adapt it to whatever you did at the movie theater, at your bank, at your family business because that's going to make the job of a recruiter, the person that's looking yes, at you, sir. or the computer, it's more the computer these days, the software that's looking at it. So when you're re applying to a job, work smarter, not harder. Um, the biggest okay. thing is use a job description to guide your resume. Another tip for resumes is use bol bold, so bold percents and numbers. So I see a lot of young people, and even sometimes parents, porque no, no, just none of us ever know. Yeah. And they'll say their bullet points, I helped people, or uh, let's say they work at a bank, I helped people daily answering phone calls and sending emails. That Pause. So cualquier situación en responsibility o acciones que to tomamos, it's at a percent or number because it helps with the size and scope of what you mm -hmm. did. So even if you were just greeting, let me take me back to Toys R Us. I could have said I greeted customers daily. Así es lo básico. But think, on average, ponle un número, even if it's más o menos. I greeted 80 customers daily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, but that, it's just one little change. Yeah. Porque the recruiter just wants to see numbers and percents. Psychologically, they're going to have six seconds, eight seconds to look at your resume. Highlight and bold the numbers throughout your resume. Um, even if you're in accounting or office or admin, in cualquier con papeles, how many papers did you touch? How many checks did you print? How many people did you talk to or greet it? Yeah. Um, ponen números siempre. That's good. No, mm -hmm. definitely. And it's things like you said, we don't know. And mm -hmm. they can literally change the, our career path or something, you know? Um, and I was going to ask you, because I'm always interested on to know what others do at their job. Like, what's mm -hmm. a regular day for you at Gallup, if you can give us, like, a little scoop? So <laughs> I, I'm in the business development, and... Um, I just sent an email to an embassy of another country wow. in Washington, D.C. So, ¿cómo se dice? Embassy. Una, embasa, una embajada. Embajada. Entonces, uh, es parte del trabajo. So, ahorita casi más es... Eh, Gallup es conocido en todo el mundo. Sí. Um, por su research. Y, y tengo unos datos aquí como... They study everything. Education. They're the voice of the people. That's and amazing. so, it takes me to research and, and learn about countries. I'm using Twitter a lot. So any day now, it's focusing on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on our research. Estoy leyendo casi siempre. Cuando estaba joven, I would hate reading. Sí. Now I read all the time on my phone, on my little laptops, los que pueden mirar aquí. Sí, ahorita um, nos puedes decir algunos libros or the, something. The, the you culture is so awesome um, because a lot of progressive companies, and especially as a consultancy advisory, 
Um, both trabajar de donde quiera. Claro. You know, I can work at 4 in the morning, I can work at 2 p.m., and so it's just based on my job. So to have that freedom and flexibility. The number one thing that people in, 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 a, in the world want right now is a job that provides them flexibility. So it's if so you're looking important. for jobs, it's look for a company culture that can offer you flexibility. 74% of, of people applying for jobs are seeking flexibility like that, yeah. more than pay. So it's, it's what people need today. Um, yeah. But day to day, I'm doing research in the computer. My office is right downtown along the Chicago River. So I got beautiful eastbound yes. river views. Um, y como, uh, I commute from Joliet to Chicago. Estando allí en la oficina en Chicago, I'm like, wow. Because I was taught to time, help yeah. others siempre, and I do to this day, that's what's allowed me to be here. Um, who knows? The sky's the limit. One day, exactly. I hope to serve on a company board. Um, because that's so important, but we'll yes. see. Other no, questions from happen. the audience? Yes, I can tell you some questions. Um, let's see. How do you prepare yourself uh, to better achieve your goals? This question was by Jennifer Gonzalez. So first off is what are your goals? Um, and I think sometimes we don't have big enough goals. And if you have small goals, even if it's waking up at 7 in the morning for two days a week, you have to set it honestly with yourself. So. Um, I don't like writing things down. Some people love writing journaling, so you have to figure out what works best for you. There's apps. I've been using like the, I have an iPhone, like the Notes app, and what's called Evernote. Uh -huh. um, documento what I have to do, but the goals is if you can tell it to someone else, your significant other, um, your parents, uh, a coworker, if you want a job promotion, you have to make that known. So as Latinos, yes. we're way too humble. And I've gone through this where it's like, I don't ask. Look, it's like, I'm only making $15 an hour. I know I'm worth more. But we are taught by just our culture, and nuestros papás, be humble, keep your head down, do good work. You're never going to reach your goals that way. Sí. So if you don't go to your company, look, I want to be an assistant manager in the next two years. How can I get there? You have to make it known and not be feared that you're going to get fired. Um, and if that company is not going to... Sometimes that's that that sí, miedo. Exacto. Sí, that. I'll... Whatever you want, you have to put it out there and tell people. So I wanted to work from home a little bit more often. Mm -hmm. I told my manager, and it happened. Wow. Right? If you wanted, I wanted to do more social media work, and I want to grow into my own presence, right? I want to use LinkedIn and Twitter. I made that happen. Over time, but you have to prove yourself, and you have to share. One day, quiero vivir en California. Es un sueño. Wow. If I don't say it, and if I don't try to tell Manifeste. others, yes, it's never going to happen. So... First, talk to the right people, and if you need help, um, ask people. You know, it's like, sí. hey, it's like, how did you get here? You Prepara know? tu plan. Yeah, yep. prepare yeah. your plan. Don't Exacto. be shy. Sell yourself. Y yo creo que esa, esto que acabamos de, de decir también, aquí preguntaron, okay. de que how, how can I ask my, my work uh, to be able to learn from different departments? Asking, so, ¿verdad? Preguntando. Great question. So whenever you want to learn something to expand, so you go to college, even if you don't, or a community college, they're only going to teach you so little. Right now, the future of jobs is think learning is the job. So 2020 to the rest of your life, learning is the job. Learning is the job. No wow. importa cual department, but if you want to learn and be just go from accounting to marketing or finance to business, ask internally. But if you can use data, so there's websites, Payscale. There's websites like the Labor of Bureaus. Bureau of Statistics. There's The Muse, M U S E. Oh, I love their articles. It's a lifesaver. Yes. The Muse, there's Monster, there's Glassdoor.com, Glassdoor. LinkedIn, um, and even if you just put career advice, there's a lot of hubs um, that are going to tell you. But if you can use data, think Deloitte, think so consultancy. You have to be smarter than Definitely. the workplace. You have to be smart. So, this is what I've been learning in the last two years is to use data. Um, and pitch. Como contribuirías? Like, why would if you? If you work from home, three to four days a week. Research proves that that's how you get the most production out of a person. Wow. It's not being in an office seven a.m. to four thirty p.m. Research is people that are the happiest, perform the best, love their jobs, don't quit. They get to work from home anywhere from three to four days. That so if you go to your office goals. right now and say, "I can be." This is what research says across the, you know, the world. 
you can't argue with science and research. Exactly. Well, so we need but to prepare. But advocate for yourself. Exactly. Like, I want to go to marketing because of this. It's going to help the company make more money because I can help with these ideas. Because I have the skills and... Sí. Y como Latinos, ahorita in corporate America, en cualquier trabajo, it's what's a topic called diversity and inclusion. Yes. D and I. Um, muchas compañías los miro left and right. Dicen, I'm trying to hire Latino talent. I'm trying to hire Latinos. No existen. No hay. No aplican. Oh, y no aplican. Um, o cuando aplican, no tienen todo. They don't boast or represent themselves porque que somos muy humildes or no. we're nice. And so it's going to say, oh, no más soy David Gloria. Um, I have a small business. But I don't say I've created eight networking events. We have 800 members. You know, we're on yeah. social media. So you have to make sure. Sell yourself, yes, basically. Yeah. But and you it's know like what? Be proud of your work. Sí, es algo muy visto en nuestra comunidad. Como que nos enseñan a solo decir, like, poquito de nosotros, porque si no nos creemos mucho. Mm -hmm. Like, we, we are, uh, we're stuck up. But no, in reality, in, in this, uh, like, uh, in job searching, it's super important that they know your personality and that you have assertivity. Sí, ser asertivo, sí, sí, sí. and it's so important. Y ahorita, um, this question goes along with what we're talking about. Andrea Herrera asks us, um, how can we go about putting together our elevator uh, pitch for networking? So the Muse, I would go to, if you can, Andrea, themuse.com is one of my ones for the elevator pitch. You really want like 20 seconds for that. So uh -huh. there's, they're actually, the best example is if you can Google elevator pitches on, on Google, and they have formats that you can follow. Um, whether yeah. this is going to be in person, right, you have like 20 seconds, or they say 30, but it's really like 20 seconds or less. Um, but that's where you have to be very confident in yourself. Y calmado. I'm a, y yeah. calma, cal, calmado, calmada, but um, it's to know, don't self-doubt. Because uh, in our community, también in this, when you're young, um, you have a lot of self-doubt. I'm 24 years old. What can I sh tell a CEO? Mm -hmm. But with practices that you can offer them a lot. Being from Joliet has helped me in Chicago because they're saying, in Chicago, most of them live in the city. And so if I tell them I'm from Joliet, from the suburbs, Except and this is where the real community is, where, like, where actual you know, people need assistance or you can hire people, um, that's the value that I bring, a different perspective. So your perspective is unique to yourself. Own your, your story, be confident in your story. Um, as long as you can come up with ideas, that's what you sell yourself exactly. in a pitch. But it's very structured, and always say less. Less is more if you're talking to someone um, pitching yourself. Eh, y definitivamente. Mm -hmm. Y también, uh, David always shares his advice on next gen. So I'm sí, sure that we can find, yeah, uh, some advice there. Also, Emiliano Guerrero is asking, I want to grow my network, but I'm also really shy. What are some tips to avoid being awkward during networking? Because it, it can happen. See, that's awkward. a great question, Emiliano. Um, so you see me right now in un saco, if you can see me on, on the live later. Um, this is not because I'm an outgoing, extroverted person. Yo prefiero estar adentro, calladito y calmado. Really? So I classify as an introverted extrovert, ¿verdad? Tengo una batería y me dura no más como dos, tres horas en público y luego I'm exhausted. Wow. So I definitely empathize with the question. Um, the yeah. biggest thing is I tell myself what works for me is fake it till you make it. But then you, you are that. You are what you want to be, ¿verdad? So for networking, si es en persona, first off, I would say try to focus on online. Porque if you can send a message on your phone, no one can tell if you're outgoing or shy or timid. As long as you can write in a nice way, focusing about others, um, you know, make someone else feel good. Hi, David. My name is Emiliano. I'm from Joliet area. Heard you talk on the radio. I love everything you shared. I have a few questions. Do you mind if we talk more? Claro que sí, ¿verdad? You made yeah. me feel good. I don't know anything about you except exactly. that you made me feel good. Y eso es lo que cuenta. If you're in person, um, Eventbrite is a, is a good website and app that I use for networking events. Eventbrite, sometimes Facebook, if you follow mm -hmm. like um, ACE, Alpha, which are good Latino organizations around the Chicago area. Now there are area. many organizations great in networking. Uh, Latinas en la Plaza. There's even, you know, so yeah. many others. You don't have to just be Latino, but if you can just find them online, it's always best to go with one other person. The um, networking buddy. <laughs> go see a networking buddy juntos or volunteer juntos and there va a haber mucha gente. Um, and you have to just practice it. It's, again, think like if you're going to, from middle school to high school, empieza de poquito, no empieces de que voy a conectarme con todos. Um, just pay, set yourself back to the other question. 
um, goals. So I'm going to talk to two different people today. Estar poquito have a poquito. The, Emiliano, the, the thing is, and anyone, don't have expectations. Like in relationships, don't ever expect something from someone else, your partner. Exacto. Expectations. So when you're networking, don't expect to ever get anything. You may pay, it might be free, it might be $20, $30, lo que sea, $10. Don't expect anything. And going back to servant leadership, when you're in a public space, always, always, always put yourself thinking, how can I help someone new? And just listen. So listening across the world, most people don't do this anymore. TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, it's all about me. It's all about look at so mine. So quick, 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 quick. And so learn to listen. It's part of the mindset in your well-being. So learn to listen to others. And by listening, you can say, I can help you, Emiliano. Or no, I can't. Exactly. And that's okay. And accept the no's mm -hmm. also. Like, mm -hmm. that's really important. And then too. go back again and then say, you know, Samantha, you and I went to the networking event. No aprendí nada, pero let's go again next month. Yeah. Yeah. Y así vas aprendiendo Exacto. diferentes tácticas. Invest in yourself. Oh, yeah. And Patience. that's what we're going to ask now. Okay. <laughs> how can someone, like, how can I start investing in myself? What are some tips for that? Tips Esa is... Esa te la pregunta. Sí, 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 sí. Es Jennifer otra vez. Jennifer, so a lot of things is be conscious with where your money goes. Oh. So going back la to pena. our generation of Instagram or Snapchat, you can pay $7 for Starbucks, sin pensar nada. Most millionaires, if you go on YouTube right now, they say buying coffee at Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, wherever you want to get your ca caffeine fix from, they say it's just the dumbest thing you can do. The worst Thank financial decision. Yeah. So think little things like that. How many how, subscriptions of Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, uh, ESPN, whatever, se te va el dinero así. Dicen que para gastar 10 mil dólares al año son 27 dollars a day. Mm -hmm. like, Imagínate. Sí. So, so that's crazy. Think about first, how can you invest in yourself? It's like, if coffee really is what makes you happy, okay, then that's a personal decision. Pero no más malgastar el dinero, it's not what's going to make you wealthy in the long run. So to invest in yourself, it's instead of buying three coffees this week or going out to eat for lunch, have it like... In Chicago, there are so many delicious restaurants, Samantha. When I go there, no. pero ya nunca Tan. compro. It's been almost, I, I never spend lunch. Es que es muy caro. It's, much, it's like es $13 yes. if you're in downtown for yes. like one sandwich and chips and water. Yeah, exactly. So I, never, I always pack my lunch, um, but that makes me happy because I use my money to buy books. Um, for unas vacacioncitas, like a, a month or something, you know? If it's Como traveling, saving that. So even traveling, it, it, it's investing in yourself. So look at money is to make me happy and to make sure my money mind is as clear and as happy and as calm. possible. Porque el dinero sí. te puede estresar Maybe también. it's like la ropa. Si me me quiero vestir like at a certain way, there's apps like, you know, go to Goodwill. Be thrifty. Plato's Closet. There's Poshmark. That's one of my Close favorite Mentor. apps. Oh, like Poshmark. Um, there's, you know, there's so much that in our, in our economy now that you can, you know, get for cheap but very good. Um, so think smarter on how you invest in yourself, whether it's, but you have to go back to your goals. It's like, what is best for me? at this time, because right now I can be investing in personal coaching um, or in a mentor or in books. Every month I'm gonna spend $20 in one book. Or a lo mejor there's online programs. Um, as you grow from, if you go from college or even while you're in college, there's professional associations. Mm -hmm. So whether you wanna be a finance a student member. or marketing or accounting like SHRM for human resources, there's professional associations and then they offer student rates. Maybe it's paying $40 for a year to be part of this network and you just get their email. So um, investing in yourself is a complex, but it really goes towards what do you need today? Yeah. Is it, do you need to get a job? So you're gonna you know, pay for LinkedIn premium, which is $30 per month, but it can help you stand out in the job market. I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna have this for six months and then as soon as I get my job, I'm gonna stop this and then invest in something else. So it's, it's never invest in one method. It's investing in in, 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 in a, different. In a yeah, of it, it's, it depends on each person. Mm -hmm. It's different for mm -hmm. everybody. And I think it's also important to invest in yourself in personal development, for example, mm -hmm. like going to, like you said, coaching and whatnot. And we also should worry about investing, like also in economically, porque we don't want to retire so old in a way. También tener nuestros ahorros fijos, but that's a that's like another topic that we can talk so about. So I do. I, on, on terms of salary, right now it's sixty-three thousand is the average U.S. income. 63,000 is the promedio de todo el país. So that's across todas razas y todo. Sí. Amongst Latinos, the median income 
is $712 per week. Mm -hmm. Times that by four for a month, that's around $2,800. Mm -hmm. El promedio amongst all Latinos, across all ages. How much is that a year? It's around $33,000, $34,000 is a promedio. No. There's another research for Latinas. Uh -huh. If you're the most money on average, that's what they cut, the glass door is $70,000. Really? And most Latinas will never make more than that much. So those it's are some preocupante, Leota. We have to change it. How do you think we can change that? I, like, for, for, from what I'm seeing is first be aware of, right now a lot of the presidential candidates are advocating that, right? The rich are getting richer, which is so true. It is. And everyone else is, is, is not. And that's because it's the jobs are bad. So yeah. it's, it's not our fault as people. So don't blame yourself that you don't get enough money or you don't make it. Understand that it's the whole system, the whole system. in the country. Not to say, okay, that's it, to give up. No, but it's no. mas presión to be smarter in thinking everywhere you invest your money right now. Have a budget. Um, say, you know, is renting best for me? Is maybe moving back with my parents best? Right now, everything's more expensive, and that's because of the... the, the, the the whole country is, you know, healthcare. It's very heartbreaking to see, you know, GoFundMe's, especially amongst the Latino community. We don't have an emergency fund. We don't plan for stuff like that, and we don't make enough. To see, and so it's, it's, it, you know, as a community, that's where I always ask young people to follow whatever your dreams are, whether it's to be a doctor, nurse, accountant, startup, because our community needs a, a lot of everything. Exactly. So just try, and and you know, it's like. Our, our Latinos make up 18% is the latest one of the whole U.S. population and more for that, you know, in the coming future. Um, so there's like a whole, you know, things that, that I love talking about in Next Gen um, about the power of Latinos and again the huge movement. So primero es yes. de ser orgulloso. De tu Latinidad. Yes. Embrace it. And so in, in, Amer in corporate America and in los Estados Unidos, uh, si hay racismo, claro. especialmente en los trabajos, um, pero también es de ser, porque eres latino, latina, o verdad, hispana, cualquier término latinx que quieres usar, eso sí te, es el futuro. So, cuando a veces doy presentaciones to, to young people, my opening slide is, the future is latinx. El futuro es latino. ¿Y eso los hace sentir más orgullosos? As they yeah. say, como el GDP, todo lo que producimos y creamos como gente, it's the seventh largest in the whole world. So, más que, la, de, que todo el país de Rusia, Wow. Los Latinos, solamente en los Estados Unidos, generate more than the whole country of Russia. We should feel proud. And that's just Latinos, not even yeah. in Mexico, in El Salvador, or, verdad, it's just es Latinos the in the U.S. So there's been studies where, again, like, in the last decade, so many more Latinos have graduated from college. Um, I think in the last, like, three, since I graduated in, like, 13, there was, like, 3.3 million more Latino graduates. Wow. Um, 4% of Latinas have now masters, so it's a small percentage, See, but it's growing. It's changing, um, so and it's going to grow more. Do invest in education. Um, yeah. I'll pause there. Otras preguntas? No, yeah, that's, okay. you, we are going really well on like the questions because they, they go along with what they ask because they're asking, is college worth it? That's like, boom. <laughs> so I went to college, so I have some bias. So that's a great question that I think as parents and as people we should ask ourselves. Um, so I went to college, so I would say yes, it is worth it. Mm -hmm. I have tens of thousands in student debt. Tengo siete años pagando el puro interés, oh and I've paid off like a few, what, $30 in siete años. So no when, th when they say like student debt is real, it is It is massive. Yeah, um, mi but, esposo is uh -huh. going to take like 15 years to pay off his debt. See, so. no, yeah, and so that's where it's like, uh, don't let that stop you from going to school. Do invest, but is college worth it? In the job market now, do you think it's, it's needed, it's, a it's, degree? It's needed less. Okay. So if you're, let's say, if you don't have the financial means, don't worry about it, and it's okay not to go to college. Right now, there is jobs that you can get with just a high school. Instead of paying 40000 20000 10000 for college, I would go back towards there's organizations and, and companies downtown Chicago or in your maybe in your community college where you can take coding for like two thousand dollars, and they can give you a certificate. So with two thousand dollars, that's like one credit at a college, or one class for a quarter coding semester. Is so, needed so if you can find something that's very practical, hands-on like technology, 
um, rethink what you're told. So a lot of Latinos from like the 90s to like right now the t like 29, 15s, and even today it's mijo, mija, college, colegio, college, colegio, college, university. Si. We're the ones that are t as first gen and second gen, that isn't the case. So it, it depends by person. If you can go to two years and that's it, start working skills today and for the next 10 years yes. matter more than what you went to school for, where you went to school for, what your GPA in, in college was. Um, skills, if you can prove you can do something, that's what's going to get you ahead. And what are some of the soft skills you think that um, jobs are looking for now? Um, so a lot of it is, can you talk with people? Do people like talking to you? And it goes back to what we talked about earlier, your emotional intelligence, yeah. your, your, your people skills. So a lot of it is communication, listening, creativity, empathy, because a lot of it as we're talking with people, if you're a customer or, or trying to buy something, can, can, I, can I really help you and care? Do I care about my job? Do I care about helping people? Um, and technology is, is creating this sort of like tension difficulty because we're, especially like our youngest, you know, that mm -hmm. are our Gen Z members, they've only grown up with their phones. Exactly. And so they don't really understand or are exposed to people. So, and that's okay, but it just people skills. Yeah, I think that's super important. Also, I was looking in marketing skills, even though marketing is not mm -hmm. like someone's career, mm -hmm. but having a knowledge in marketing can help you also land like a job because we know in this generation, it's all about branding. It's all mm -hmm. about like, can you sell it? Can you make it bigger? Can you get engagements? Mm -hmm. So I think Any other questions or how much time do we have? Um, on say, on say. On say, on say, yeah, <laughs> make, make a, a wish. wish. <laughs> Um, yes, we have a uh, few questions. You have time too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so, Natalia Fernandez asked, how would my process of growth be affected if I went easier on myself? I think that's like, again, um, it's like the race, a perfect that question. It's like the, the tortoise and the hare, or algo así, right? It's um, slow and steady wins the race. Es sí. So think <laughs> about it that way. ¿Quién te está diciendo that you have to be at a certain spot today or tomorrow? Es que a veces es mucha presión social. Pero de donde, so sí, pero I don't know where it comes it, from. But so it's it like, is from society. It's from yeah. ourselves. It's it's from, you know, our friends. Porque there's a lot of people that say, again, it's okay to clap for your friends that are already making it. Be proud of them. It's, it's okay if they're 25 and already have a house, you know, a car. They 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 made. It's okay. That's awesome. Learn from them. Support them. We don't do that enough. Yes. It's like. As long it's like you, they got a job, you clap, yay! But if they get the good job, you're like, hey, ya no me gusto uh -huh. esto. Um, so in it, slow down. That's what I'm learning right now. It's you know, for me, it was like I need to make all this much money by the time I'm 30, or by the time I'm 25, or verdad. I worked at six companies. I need to be at a at a bigger, more fancier, sí, prestigious claro. company. Pero me, was I happy? Sí, muy mean, presionado a veces es malo. Like. You set yourself up with what works best. So for from September 2019 hasta ahorita, enero, fines de enero, yo felizmente casi sin nada. So I wasn't at networking events. I wasn't creating an event. I was just working a lot for my work. Yeah. And I was with family for the holidays. That's amazing. And winter makes us más cansados, more claro, angry sometimes. We hibernate. And so instead of being angry to say, I need to be personally developing all this, this, read all these books, I was like, nope. I wasn't publishing on LinkedIn. I wasn't putting myself out there on Facebook. Like, who needs help? Who needs help? Quien, quien, quien? Yeah. I was like, you know, I need to take care of myself. So wow, from September, so October, November, December, January, like five months, I was so happy where there's a paradox of the action of non-action. Wow. So think about that. It's we're told do do do, get ahead, get ahead, build, invest in yourself, and it comes from Taoism. But the action of non-action, it's look at nature, right? Let's get like yeah. very like philosophical deep. yoga, you know, like set the the mood. <laughs> and so if you look at it, nature, what do the trees do every day? Yeah, it's uh, they exist. They exist. And that's beautiful. As people, if we're just sitting or even laying in bed or just, you know, going on walks or riding a bike, that that's not being productive. Cada minuto, nuestras mamás, haz algo, mija. Exacto. ¿Verdad? So sí. that also comes because that's just what they've learned. Pero nosotros, as the next generation, we can learn, no, 
there's a better way to live our lives. And it's like, we, it's actually us, as we're getting older, y nuestros papás, pues, but that we're taking care of them, it's, we can introduce new ideas, and especially think of the little kids, right? So exactly. as I think of, of the, the littlest ones, they don't have to go through what we did. Nuestras enseñamientos. We're the next generation. So um, the action of non-action. So even by you, uh, um, asking that question, take time, and you can figure it out, and it's okay. Yeah, exactly. So or it's reach okay out to and take we can talk. Anyone that asks any questions, if, if it's helpful on Facebook or the Next Gen group, um, ask me a one-on-one -on -one question and, and I'd love to do so. Yeah, that's really good. nice that you are accessible because we need that. We need people that are willing to help others um, y que nos den información que es super, super importante. Y bueno, do you have um, any future projects or events for Next Gen that you want to like talk about or share with us? I wish I did, Samantha, because I wish I would, in my mind, right, that overthinking, it's like, oh, I want to ha have, you know, this one for Women's International Day, claro. which is March 8th. You know, I wanted one for, for Valentine's Day, para los que están solteros o con pareja, like bring community. The biggest thing is, amongst Latinos, we need to form community. Exactly. Um, and especially to have these conversations all the time and make them normal. So, no, nope, not right now, because I was focusing on myself. Uh, exactly. On my own no, mental health, fine. you know. Um, so um, I always like to ask if someone does want to create something with me. It's like I have the contacts and todo, but it's the energy I have to be very thoughtful. But I do want to make meaningful events, more like to talk about mental health. I want, I have connections that I'm trying to work on in downtown Chicago, like at, uh, uh, I won't mention the companies, but they're like uh, good progressive tech companies and big companies in Chicago, where I want to open up the doors with NextGen and have young people there. There's, again, a lot of Latinos that are in Chicago. I will say one at London House, which is one of Chicago's oh, like it. nicest rooftop yes. hotels. The general manager is a Latino. So it's oh, like, sir. Oh, he, yeah, he, like, it, like he like manages the whole property of London House, one of the Chicago's top, you know, go-to so places. Nice. Latinos are everywhere, so. We we'll need see. to find that representation, and yeah, see. and it's okay to take time for yourself. Yeah, that's yeah, totally, uh, that's totally good. And somebody just asked a question, okay. like, um, what, um, like, what books or resources do you recommend to start uh, delving into personal development? So personal development, one of them is called essentialism. 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 Uh, McEwen. Uh, no sé, pero if you put essentialism, like on Amazon or Barnes Noble's Google. Essentialism, when you're young, or even as you, especially like that 20-something or in college, essentialism is also a, a way of thinking. Um, so that's the first book that I got introduced by a mentor because I was like, I want to do business, I want to do a startup, I want to do this, and I want to do that. And so we're, we're going in five different directions, but when, some, but when we stop, it's, we're really not moving forward. Oh, we're in the same so spot. Important. So yeah. what essentialism, and, is, and I'll summarize it, but it's a great book, I'll recommend that one to start. Um, it's by making an essential intent. And in simplest terms, it's in, an essential intent is one decision, one big decision that automatically determines and answers a thousand smaller decisions. So what does this look like? I'm 18 years old or 17 years old in high school. I don't know what I want to be in college. An essential intent is making like a declaration. I'm going to be a doctor or I'm going to be in business and you choose one, mm -hmm. and you stick with it, because then you choose, I'm going progress. to go into business, and then you don't have to worry about biology, you don't have to worry about eventually taking the MCAT, you don't have to worry about science stuff. You're going to focus all your efforts. What is essential. <laughs> exactly, yeah. what's important to you, um, and what is essential, it's again, like the main things that get to where you want to go. So in your goals, I don't know what your goals are. You write them down, mm -hmm. but what is most important? Is it your health? Is it exercising? Is it your relationship with a certain people, with a certain group? Is it getting a different job? And if it's once you determine those goals, you make an essential intent. We're saying in all of February, instead of just watching Netflix or the, the, the party of party or lo que sea con la familia, February for me is about finding a new job. March, I'll worry about reading more books. April, I'm going to discover new podcasts, which are all the, they're, they're so valuable yes. podcasting um, right now. But set those. And again, don't say, I'm going to do so a podcast important. in February, publish a book, do all this, get a new job. Burn out. Okay. Sí, lo ponemos todo en la bandeja. So essentialism, is, and Samantha, the other one is, there's, a, there's a several good ones. There's another book called Focus. Focus. Um, it helps you, again, um, to read there, too. I have Audible. 
um, on my phone, which is a, a good app. You can sometimes get promotions. Like if you do their free trial, cancel right away. And then the like in a month, they'll send you like, hey, come back, David, we missed you. Like here's 50% off. Ooh. So anytime there's like a free subscription, make sure you put on your calendar to cancel right away. Like if you get a free app demo, that's where they get you. You forget to, to uh -huh. take away and the free trial and there's $9.99. So again, be smart with your money. So yes. I usually sign up and then cancel it. And then like one month or two months later, here comes Amazon and Audible. Hey, come back with a free promo code for Ooh. a month off. So I've done this for two years and I have like 30 audiobooks um, because they always get you You're that so like smart. use one month and you get like two audiobooks or three audiobooks. I'm going to so totally do that. Another one is, um, let me see here to my library. So um, I saw one that is called Limits that it sounds kind of like the essentialism one. Okay, it might be. It's it's really nice too. So, so if we can I'll maybe like write it. There's one called Principles by Ray Dalio. Um, if you're into marketing, follow Seth Godin. Seth Godin. Seth Godin is known around the world for marketing. This is marketing. Um, Jen Sincero, you are a badass. Is another one. Perdón por la, el, I lengua it, yeah. el lenguaje. Um, everything is figure outable. Marie or Leo. Um, Dare to lead is by a, a, a psychologist by the name of my mujer, Brene Brown. So okay. if you can remember Brene Brown, she's on YouTube, on TEDx videos. She's a, so inspirational, vill millions of views. Um, so Brene Brown. Power Moves is another good one by Adam Grant. Um, let me see here. Dale Carnegie. This book was written about like 80 years ago, and it's called How to Win Friends yeah, and Influence People. A really good one. I've really never read it. I've heard, I have it at okay. home, and I'm guilty that I started reading it, and I didn't finish it, but it's really good. Like. I think if you can remember many of the book's titles, especially How to Win Friends and Influence People, it goes back to what are the top skill sets for right now in the future? It's people. people and skills. so just focus on people. Another great one to start with um, on your personal journey or self-awareness journey is Simon Sinek's Start With Why. Start with why? So Simon Sinek Ooh, is Simon also, Peter. you can find him on Facebook video, on YouTube. So going back towards what goals are you setting for yourself? What is my essential decision intent? Where am I going? What do I want to do with life? The why is so important. Start with why. So is it is it for my family? Is it for myself? Is it, what is it? All of us are unique humans with different goals. And when you can, so this is part of the coaching that you can do in reflecting on yourself. Start with what is your calling. So for me, being a servant leader, as we talked about, Samantha, it was, I don't know, but just help. Mm -hmm. So based on my own thing about career, that's where it's... It, you found your why. Wow. I'm finding it all the time. Oh, so yeah. it's just, it's, always, I found yeah. it, but now it's like pivoting. It's always changing See, because yeah. then at the end of the day, that's the legacy that you're going to leave, you know? So you're always building it. It's not like, okay, I'm going to start this purpose and that's going to be it for the rest of my life. No, Correct. you're always, like, it's an evolution pro process. Mm -hmm. Pero sí, I think that's all the questions the audience um, oh, yes, asked. Yes, se 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 um, sí, pero muchísimas gracias, David, for all of your knowledge. And as we mentioned, David shares um, a lot on the Next Gen Latinx uh, group, a, a lot of good resources. Y pues, uh, thank you, David, again. We hope to have you with another topic next time. Eh, si te animas, ya sabes, aquí es, es tu casa. Thank you. Pero bueno, mi gente, gracias por pasar el sábado con nosotros, a los que nos están viendo por Facebook Live. Eh, también um, pueden encontrarnos en Instagram y en Facebook y en YouTube como arroba a toda voz punto WJL. Ya saben que también ponemos nuestros updates en el grupo de Informate Yolien. David, muchas gracias por estar con nosotros. Um, esto fue un café bien conversado. I forgot, where can they find you on, on Facebook? Ah, uh, pues en anything, it's just search... Uh, David Gloria or like next gen not next. Um, I'm using Twitter more, which I only have like a hundred followers, but I'll answer there. Um, Facebook mean? or Instagram, um, LinkedIn, on the support and contact. Just reach out. Reach out. That's important. Que no les dé pena, no sean penosos, okay. right? Just say, <laughs> bueno. yeah, this is my question. Yeah. Exacto. No, no hay pregunta mala, no. verdad? Que te pueden decir, no? And that's important to mm -hmm. accept um, the nose. Pero bueno, gracias mi gente, soy Samantha Ante, esto fue Un Café Bien Conversado en A Toda Voz, y no se vayan que en la siguiente hora tenemos pura música para ustedes. Y se acabó. Great job. No, great job, I know that we went a little bit over time, I know that you... No, no worries.